If you're using streaks with no fat, you're doing things entirely wrong. And I can guess that you're still highly addicted to PMO. Well, actually, you could have been free of this addiction if you used the right method, which today I'm going to teach you. But first, let me explain why streaks are so bad and why they are holding you back from success. Take a look at these charts. The first chart is you, okay? And as you can see, you're going up and down, up and down, but you're not making any progress, are you? And if you take a look at the second chart, you can see clear progress, step by step. It doesn't go from zero to 100 in one go, but actually in steps, it goes to a very high amount, to a very high streak. The only reason that you don't make any progress and you're still on chart number one and not number two is because you keep track of streaks. And the reason for that lies in the chaser effect. The chaser effect is this effect that when you relapse, you tend to relapse again after several days or maybe already after hours. Now, why is that? It is because of emotion, feeling things like sadness, being angry at yourself, shame and all those sorts of things make you relapse even more because by feeling bad about yourself your brain will find a way to cheer you up with some PMO again and actually this way your brain is using the drug to alleviate the withdrawal symptoms from the same drug now of course what our brain forgets is that this will make us even worse off than before so we have to remember that using the drug again will not alleviate withdrawal symptoms but actually it will make things worse, okay? So if you want to feel better, make yourself feel better in another way, right? That is what we have to remember and tell our brains. But let me tell you that you don't have to deal with these emotions and you don't have to deal with the chaser effect if you have a right method. Now, this is also what I teach my students at Spire Search Academy. Now, you might be wondering, what does this have to do with streaks? Keeping track of streaks is a very bad way to measure progress. And basically, when you take track of streaks, you're basically telling yourself, I have to go to infinity or else I will fail. I will go to day zero and all progress will be lost. Think about it. That is what streaks teach us. It doesn't matter if you relapse on day one or on day hundred. You will always go back to day zero. Imagine a guy that goes to day hundred and then relapses for one time. How bad will he feel because he goes back to day zero? And he is just as worse off as someone that literally relapsed on day one. With streaks, you will always feel and always feel bad about yourself. And that is why we need to measure it another way. You're always going to feel disappointed about yourself, even if you did a good job. And that is why streaks feed the chaser effect. They will make sure that you feel bad about yourself. You feel angry. You feel sad. And that way you will not relapse just once, but actually twice, if not a third or fourth relapse and so on. And let me tell you that one relapse is no big deal. But having two relapses after each other is the real reason you can progress just like this chart. Because imagine relapsing once a day. If you relapse once a week, you're already doing seven times better than before. And that is real success, real progress. Now, if you look at a streak, of course, we will still see a zero. But does that tell anything? Did we make progress? Yes, guys, we made progress. So think about that. Now, you might be wondering, what do I do instead of measuring it with streaks? Now, the good news is that I have a method for you that actually works very good and counteracts the chaser effect and makes you progress just like the chart I've shown you. And this way, you can get the key to freedom and actually quit in a consistent manner. Not just one big streak, but actually from relapsing once a day to once a week and maybe even once in months. Instead of tracking your streak, you can throw that into the bin and actually start tracking your calendar. When you do this, you will have a much more clearer overview of how much progress you're making. And actually, if you relapse, you will realize that it's not the end of the world and the chaser effect will be zero. Now, of course, you can have a physical calendar, but you can also download the MDF app, which I highly recommend. I've put it in the description. This way, you can finally see that one relapse is just another step at making more progress until the next relapse. And then you can make the amount of relapses less and less every month, every week, whatever it is you want to measure. You can just make it less frequent and that way make steps towards freedom again. And that is exactly what those guys on this chart also did. 
they have quit this addiction by making steps, by having relapses as well, but just having that one relapse after some time, because it is not possible to go from zero to a hundred, right? From, you know, being unreal, being a real addict to doing it never again, right? That is not possible. But what we can do is going from days to weeks to months. And that is what you can do as well with this method. Now, this was just one component in order to make success. But if you want to quit, make sure to learn about all other components, all other ingredients in order to quit with this video. And also make sure to subscribe for more. See you.